In this video, I'm going to show you how to flare out the top of your coil pot. So on this one, I added a coil that is uh, towards the outside edge of the rim. So if you look at it from the outside, it's starting to widen. Now I'm going to roll a coil long enough to wrap it around twice, but I'm going to still score and slip them individually because each layer should be scored and slipped uh, individually so that it is really well attached. This way I can blend the inside two at the same time as one, so it is just a little bit faster. Uh, I'm going to really blend and smooth in the inside so that it's nice and smooth. And now I let it sit out for a while and I let it sit out a little too long. So I'm just adding a little bit of water to get it moist again. So now I'm going to start my lid, which I am making a pinch pot because I wanted it to be a little bit more dome shaped. So I'm just starting a basic pinch pot and trying to make the uh, pinch pot fit inside. It's not fitting inside super well. It's very wide still. So I am going to cut out some darts so that I can uh, make the rim of the pinch pot a little bit more narrow so that it can fit inside of the pot. So I'm just cutting out triangles and then I'm going to score and slip those triangles together to make the pinch pot more narrow. Now that I've narrowed off the rim of the pinch pot, I'm going to uh, measure it for size after getting it nice and smooth. Uh, so I want to make sure that it's going to fit inside and I know that the clay is going to shrink a little bit more because my pinch pot is more wet than the inside of the coil pot. Because remember my coil pot started to dry out a little bit so I know that that's not going to shrink as much as the pinch pot is going to shrink. But I just want to make sure that it's going to fit when it's all dry. So I just, uh, I'm going to make a little ledge for the pinch pot to sit on inside of the coil pot. So that is uh, somewhere that it's going to sit on top of uh, just in case it gets a little too small. I don't want it to fall in too much. So that ledge is going to be cut to size and then scored and slipped inside of the coil pot. So now it's time to score and slip. So scoring was a little tricky to get the scoring tool inside of the pot. Remember that you can really use any tool to score. The basic thing that you want to remember is to roughen up the clay enough so that the slip soaks into the clay and allows it to adhere together. It's like the glue that holds it together. I'm going to cut the uh, ledge to size and um, then I'm going to press it in so that I can start blending and smoothing to make sure that there is no seam left on the inside. If I wanted to use this as uh, some kind of uh, pouring vessel, I want to make sure that there's not going to be any bacteria inside. So you will see that the ledge that I attached on the inside is really smooth and there's no creases where bacteria can grow. So you want to make sure it's nice and smooth and you can use this as a functional piece.